We've spoken to Nigel in the last couple of days about loan signings and the need for them. How close are Sheffield United to doing that ahead of the next game? Okay, so I've, I have, I think, an unblemished record of saying nothing about transfers. So until like, now, possibly. until now, <laughs> I have, I'm going to break down under pressure. You were here, James Chill, to, to hear Andy Giddings take me down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, what I will say is, I think um, from the descriptions management has given me there in advanced stages on those matters that they think are important to football the football side of things, but we, we will never make an announcement until there's a done deal. I'm, I'm confident as a chairman that um, management is focused, resourced, and moving out on doing the business they think they need to do. So before the next game then? <laughs> you're, you're wonderful. Um, I don't know. It's not often I get told that. So, <laughs> so I, I'm going to keep my record unblemished, <laughs> but I, I think every, every blade can expect to see us move out, um, you know, uh, in a business-like fashion on these matters, and everyone should know that the deals that we work on um, are all multi-party deals. Right? There's a club, there's a player, there's an agent sometimes trying to get his piece, and so we don't control um, all of the decisions that have to be made. We try to influence them, yes, by you know, by throwing some money at it, but we also um, are unwilling to do things that don't make great sense. I'll give you an example. I think it was a shame that we didn't get uh, Chris O'Grady in this summer, right? But the fact is we didn't. We didn't reach, we, we were able to offer a transfer fee that worked, but we didn't reach personal terms. You know what I say to that? I say whatever management thinks is the right price is the right price. And that's, that's the end of the analysis for me. You know, I'd love to have solved uh, that particular problem sooner, and I thought that was a good solution. And there were plenty of resources to do it, but we will not do bad business, and we won't. Um, we won't, as a board, f compel management to take a player on terms that they think are not sensible. Because you know, if you're the football manager, you have to live with the consequences of having one guy paid a lot more than everybody else. You know, so we, you know, we will let the decisions be made by the decision maker who has to live with the consequences. Mm -hmm.